Hello and welcome back. In this demo, we are going to set up a Kafka cluster using Docker. Not just that, we are also going to set up a Kafka web UI so that we will be able to visualize our Kafka cluster. So let us now jump into our demo. So here I'm using my code editor. This can be any editor of your choice. All you need is Docker installed. The first thing I want to do is to create a Docker network. Let me run this command in my terminal now. Well, the Docker network has been created. The next step, we are downloading a Kafka Docker image. So this is from this particular Docker image and we are giving it a name. Not just that, we are also saying it to join to the particular network. That is the Kafka network. And here we are mentioning the network. We are also enabling some port forwardings required for our Kafka cluster. Now, what are these ports? We are going to understand this in detail in the later section. Well, let me copy this command now and run it. And then press enter. So it is not able to find the Docker image. So it is going to start pulling the Docker image from the Docker hub. Well, if you are using any kind of other Docker repositories like AWS, etc., you can also pull this image from there. But you just need to make sure to change the name here. That's all. Well, let us now wait for this Docker image to be pulled and the container to start. This command was completed. So let me first clear my screen and then let us go ahead. The next step is to start a Kafka UI. Please note that in Apache Kafka itself, we don't have a Kafka UI. What I mean is, Kafka UI is not a part of the Apache project. So the Kafka UI that we are going to use is built by someone else. So in this case, it is from this particular company. Again, it is open source, so we are good to use. What we are doing here is the same. We are pulling a Kafka UI Docker image and then we are running it inside the network. And we are enabling a port. Now, because it is running in the same network where Kafka is running, the Kafka UI will be able to connect to our Kafka cluster easily when we configure it. Let us try to run this command now. Click on paste and run. Let us wait for this particular Docker image to be pulled and the container to be in the running state. Looks like the container is now running. So let me clear my screen and do Docker container ls. And we are seeing that we have both the containers up and running. So let us go to the ports and let us open this particular port that is 7000. So it should open the Kafka UI. And there we go, we have our Kafka UI. Now this is the first screen that you're going to see because it is asking you to configure a Kafka cluster. So let us give a name for this Kafka cluster. We're going to say Kafka local cluster. And then we have to give a host. Well, the, what is the host name? Just give the Kafka cluster. So this is also the name that you give for our container. So let us give the name. And what is the port? We are able to connect to Kafka always on port 9092. This is one of the broker port. Now, what is a broker? We are going to understand this in our future videos. So once this is done, you can click on validate to make sure that the Kafka UI is able to connect to the Kafka cluster. And you should see a success message in the bottom. So let us click on validate again and you see a success message, which means that the Kafka UI is able to communicate with our Kafka cluster. Then I'm going to click on submit. That's it. So the connection details has been stored. Let me refresh the screen quickly and click on reload. Well, you see, the Kafka cluster is now configured successfully. Now, if I want to see some information about my Kafka cluster, what can I do? So for that, let us click on brokers. Now here, we only have one Kafka cluster. So that is why you are seeing on the drop down on the left side. So this Kafka cluster is running on our local system. So it has only one broker. It has the version of Kafka and it has the number of partition mentioned and it has the disk usage utilization. Now, what is a broker? What is a topic? What is a consumer? We are going to dive deep into each of this in detail in the future section. Let us click on topics and by default, you're going to see a lot of topics. These are all the test topics that are created. Well, this is a way in which you are able to set up your Kafka cluster using Docker very quickly and practice Kafka hands-on. Well, the Kafka UI itself is not a must. But if you don't want to run a lot of Kafka commands in the CLI, the UI does come handy to quickly visualize your Kafka cluster itself. Well, that is how simple it is to set up Kafka locally. That is it for this video. Speak with you in the next video. Thank you.